Hello everyone. Welcome to my video. In this video, I will be explaining the life cycle assessment of sanitary pad. There are a few content in this video which including introduction of sanitary pad, life cycle of sanitary pad, impacts of sanitary pad and as well as the conclusion and references. Let's get started with the first part which on the introduction of sanitary pad. So, what is actually sanitary pad? Sanitary pad is known as sanitary napkin or menstrual pad. It is made of absorbent material that absorbs the menstrual fluid during menstruation. How many type of sanitary pad exist? There are several type of sanitary pads that exist. The first one is panty liner. It is a short and slim kind of pad. Next, regular or medium flow. This type of pad has the same length as panty liner but more thicker in order to absorb more blood. Other than that, heavy flow pad. It is longer and thicker than regular and feel bit bulky. It is best to wear this with loose fitting clothing. Overnight pads also one of the type. It is the thickest one and offer more coverage. It also gives extra protection during the sleep. Organic cotton pads also exist. It is all natural root and good for those having latex allergy. Lastly, washable or reusable pads. It has soft and sturdy material with a slit to insert the absorbent liner. And you can see in the video how the sanitary pads look like. The panty liner, regular pad as well as reusable pad. Now, let's move to the second which on the life cycle of sanitary pad. There are five stages for life cycle of sanitary pad. As for the first stage, it is on raw material. The main raw material used in making sanitary pad mainly made from cotton. There is also synthetic materials including rayon, non-woven fabric and paper pulp. As for the second stage, it is on manufacture. The manufacturing of sanitary pad and include the cotton harvesting. This requires human power. Cotton production also requires agricultural forces in form of electricity. For the third stage, it is on distribution and transportation of sanitary pad. The distribution of sanitary pad comes from industrial factories to consumers. The transportation involved rail transport and air transport. Moving on to the next stage, it is on the use, reuse and recycle activities of sanitary pad. In this stage, consumers use the sanitary pad. Sanitary pad is monthly use product and usually women use the one-time sanitary pad, non-reusable, as women always go through menstruation once a month. However, reusable sanitary pad do exist too. Consumers that use this kind of sanitary pad will wash it and reuse it. And as for the last stage for life cycle of sanitary pad, it involves waste management or also known as end of life stage. In this stage, there are a lot of wastes produced from the raw materials process of sanitary pad until the disposal stage. As for the disposal stage, several common ways to dispose include throw away the sanitary pad into trash bin, burning, burying and flushing down in toilets. Moving on to the next one, which on the impacts of sanitary pad. The first impact of sanitary pad is on drainage system issue. This issue happened due to women that dispose their sanitary pad by flushing it down in the toilet bowl. You can see how a person do that in the video shown. The impact from this issue make the toilet bowl clogged. 
However, the worst case scenario will be when the main drainage clogged too due to the sanitary pad that stuck inside it. This will greatly impact other people too as the clogged drainage system will make the water splash out. As for another impact, it is on the waste management issue. This issue occur when thousands of tons of disposable sanitary pads is generated. The number of sanitary pad disposal occur in every month for all over the world. This higher number also lead to waste management issue as sanitary pad will stay in the landfill. The reason is because sanitary pads take around 500 to 800 years to decompose. Thus, sanitary pads can only be stored at the landfill while waiting for it to decompose. As for the last part, this will be on the conclusion on sanitary pad. For the conclusion, life cycle assessment of sanitary pad is very crucial. This is because, sanitary pads is one of the products that can give impacts to the environments. If this sanitary pads is not being managed wisely, the negative impacts of sanitary pads will increasing by upcoming years. The numbers of waste from sanitary pads will keep increasing and it might also affect our landfill and health as the sanitary pads can be considered as dirty waste. However, a few steps can be taken for people in order to tackle this issue. For girls and women out there, you can choose to use reusable sanitary pads. This reusable sanitary pads can last long compared to disposal sanitary pads. Other than that, you can also use menstrual cup. This menstrual cup can be used more than once. Thus, it will not contribute to the waste generation. Thank you for watching.